Legend of Zelda fans everywhere have been shipping the titular princess and her heroic hero, Link, for decades. And now you can count Zelda herself among the ranks of those hopeless Hyrule romantics. Huh. Now that's what I like to hear. Pay attention, princess. You could learn something. Gamers have long suspected that there may be more to Zelda and Link's relationship than meets the eye, and The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom definitely seems to muddy those waters even further. At this point, the two protagonists are easily the most notable will-they, won't-they, have-they couple in the video game medium. The pair appear to be much closer companions when the latest game begins, but it never outright confirms whether or not they're together as a romantic item. Still, the game is littered with hints about this being the case. When Link finally makes it back to his home village in Tears of the Kingdom, him, there are clues scattered about his house that imply that Zelda has been living with him at least part of the time. Not only is her diary there, but Link can find and wear a hairband that is strongly implied to be Zelda's. The in-game description for the item states that putting it on makes Link feel sentimental about times past. That sure sounds like the behavior of someone who's been separated from their one great love. Yeah, Link and Zelda are pretty used to that at this point, huh? So he can… he can still be saved? For Zelda voice actor Patricia Somerset, there's an excitement to these ambiguous clues. During a recent interview with The Gamer, Somerset was asked point-blank if the pair of protagonists are more than friends as they appear to be. Although Somerset doesn't know everything that the developers had in mind when making the game, she does have a unique insight into Zelda's heart, and longtime fans of the series may be very interested in her replies. When asked if Link and Zelda are together together, Somerset said, as a voice actor, looking at the overall relationship between Link and Zelda over the ages, I personally love the ambiguity and that if there is something there, it's left to us. I guess in my own life, I can respect and celebrate relationships that aren't conventional. In other words, Somerset found a fun challenge in the fact that the games never fully answer the question. When SVG interviewed Patricia Somerset on the day of the new game's release, she explained that she particularly enjoyed delving into the smaller details of this world and these characters' relationships. Somerset told us that, when it comes to this sequel, there's even more room for nuance and more room for play. And it's very subtle, but that's where an actor's brain loves it the most. You can really hone in on details. Those subtle details and the ambiguity of Link and Zelda's relationship allow her to find different levels to play with when voicing the character. It also allows the story to be about much more than a damsel in distress and a hero who's looking for a smooch after a long day of rescuing. How about a kiss for luck? You've got to be kidding. More than any other entry that preceded it, Tears of the Kingdom fleshes out Link and Zelda on an emotional level and really shows us how they feel during this time of conflict, romantic or otherwise. However, Somerset did ultimately give the gamer her read of the situation, which feels a little more straightforward than what the game presents us. The Zelda actress explained that she loves the undefined time passage between the two games, which allowed her to fill in the blanks somewhat. It's left open to interpretation how Link and Zelda spent that time together and whether they've been a romantic couple that whole time. But the fact that the game never explicitly says that the two are dating is part of the magic that keeps this series so interesting. As Somerset explained, this defiance of a definition is something really nice. Those relationships are super important to portray too, and I think they're the best relationships we have in life, whether it be friendship or something that doesn't have to fit a definition. I know that Link and Zelda are in a relationship with each other. It's active, there's a lot of care and a lot of listening, and I just love that about it. I'm surprised to admit it, but I can accept that. One of the most intriguing aspects of the Legend of Zelda franchise is that so much of the lore is open to interpretation, and despite all of the hints and furtive glances, fans can continue to view the latest game however they please. Tears of the Kingdom players who don't ship the two together can continue to see them as friends, but there's definitely enough there, both in the game itself and in Somerset's warm performance, to support all of the romantic fanfiction in the world.